So Sony has explained why the PS Vita is basically failing in sales. Alright, let's hear it. But before we get to this video, here's the question of the day. Alright, what's up guys? This is the Review Space coming to you via the 90s Kids Show channel. And basically, Sony has tried to explain themselves, you know, regarding why the PlayStation Vita, their current gen handheld system, is just not popping. It's, it's not selling, it's basically failing. And it's not it's not reaching a bigger audience than what they currently have. So basically, this is what they said. Managing Director Fergal Gara uh, of Sony UK has, has said, In all honesty, higher sales would have been what we had hoped for. The market Vita entered was more complicated than it was when the console was originally thought about and designed Games on tablets and phones have changed the marketplace and people can't carry too many things around at one time. Can't carry too many things around at one time. As if having the Vita somehow completely overburdens and just puts so much weight and it costs too much space uh, uh, it's too much it's too much of a load in, in your whatever backpack whatever your pockets whatever you're walking around and you just can't carry the Vita it's too much compared to the tablets and the phones the smart fans what a bunch of nonsense from Sony all right this this is a horrible excuse uh, completely disagree I mean, let's keep going with this. The truth is that the number of people that want the core experience that the Vita offers is not as big as the number that simply want any sort of games available on the move and because the likes of a tablet and smartphone are so multifunctional in their use, they will always be very appealing, he added. So, he's basically saying that the Vita is not as appealing as the tablets and smartphones because of their they have multi-functionality, they're multi-purpose, they have other features, and the Vita is just this what? Basically a handheld system. So isn't that Sony's fault? If that is the big problem, if, it, if, if Vita is in fact an inferior system in terms of features, in terms of design, it doesn't have all these other things that a tablet does, or a smartphone, then isn't it time to change the Vita why did you do the Vita like that in the first place? Why are we still continuing with the Vita? Why is it still around? Why is it still, is it, is it still active? Why? So that's the main fault with the Vita, I guess, according to them. I mean, even Sony understands that, oh, well, pff, we failed in the, in the portable thing. You know, people don't want to carry it, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't have the tablet features. Doesn't have the multifunctionality. It's too much to carry. It's like, what do they call it? Like in uh, Elder Scrolls, you know what I mean? When you're, you're, you're encumbered. You're encumbered. You can't carry any more handhelds. You can't carry any more uh, portable systems. You already got the smartphone and the tablet and the cell phone. You can't carry it anymore. No, sorry, fuck the Vita. No, you gotta drop your other shit. You gotta drop the smartphones. You drop the Vita. You don't need it. I mean, this is just pathetic. So, the, the Vita's still around. I, I can't even believe that it's still active. And even I myself, I'm still curious about the. Like, I still wanna buy one, I still wanna cop one. I've played it, you know, I understand, I prefer it over the, the 3DS, I really do, even though I think the gap this time is much, much, much smaller between the 3DS and the Vita compared to the PSP and the DS. Like, last gen, hands down, the fucking PSP was way, way more uh, preferable for me compared to the DS, you know? 
But here in this generation, it's like the Vita is just a little bit more preferable, but not that much. Like, I can still go the 3DS route if you give me that opportunity, you know what I mean? It's ugh. Ugh. Uh, ugh. You already have a smartphone, okay, so you don't, you don't want to get a Vita, okay. So, why continue it with this portable system? Why? Who cares? Isn't it done? Why is Sony still in this business? I was complaining about this like a year ago. You know, the Vita was being outsold like 47 to 1, and that was like last year. Oh, and then you have the PS Vita thing. Uh, PS Vita TV, which came out in Japan, you know, I don't know if it's going to reach the uh, North American region. It's, uh, it seems interesting, I guess, like an alternative, uh, an, another option, maybe cheaper. You know, I see the PS Vita these days for like 150 bucks uh, on Craigslist, you know, like a bundle or something like that. Or I should say just a core system, you know, 150 bucks, something like that. In the mid, you know, 150, 160, something around there and it really is affordable at this point i mean it, it's out for a couple of years now it's been out um it's good consider getting one okay that's not a bad idea but i mean you know that 150 bucks can still go to i just bought another 360 system i got a 360 slim and w with like six games hdmi controller battery you know the great condition and everything with, with six relatively new games, and that was like a hundred and forty bucks. You know, it's a hundred forty, a hundred thirty, hundred forty bucks. I'm like that, so I could really get that or the Vita, and it's like, you know, the the 360 Slim is more appealing. So there's other bundles that are even more appealing than the Vita. You know, it, it's there's really no reason um to to cop this right now. It's such a pathetic little um mistake that sony did because there's really it doesn't have that reputation of, of oh my god there's so many killer apps on it all all the greatest games yeah it's got these little ports and shit you know liberation assassin's creed that that's going to get an hd remake anyway because it basically flopped on the vita you know it just didn't uh, there, when you move a, sis, uh, a game, I should say, when you port a game that was originally meant to be an exclusive to a certain system, and then later, maybe a year later or a few months later, whatever it was, it goes to HD, it gets some sort of re-release on other systems, that's an indication of failure on that system. It failed on that exclusive, as an exclusive for that system because of... The system isn't popular, it didn't sell enough, you know, it just didn't get enough sales. The game itself is not that great, uh, not a lot of critical reception. Uh, it, 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 all these different things adding up. It's all of it, all of that. Um, I mean, the 3DS is just absolutely outselling the Vita, and it's not even about, like, I don't give a shit about sales, except for the fact that if it doesn't sell that much, then you're losing money, and it's just a bad decision. You, you gotta have quality as well, and you gotta have a certain reputation. You know, above everything else, you, I don't know what Sony has to do. Just just stop it with the Vita. I don't even understand why they have a, another uh, handheld portable uh, fucking... I just don't get it. Why did they have a Vita? The PSP did pretty good. But it was largely outsold by the DS. I like the PSP, I really appreciate it, but they just can't get it right, like something's wrong with Sony, you know, they just don't understand how to market the damn system, they, they don't have any known killer apps, they don't have like a known famous franchise or franchises on the Vita, there's like nothing on it uh, that I can think of. Uh, uh, oh, ugh. So, you know what, I'm just looking forward to, you know, like a couple of years from now or something. Whenever I decide to get a Vita, it's going to be cheap as fuck. You know, it's going to be like a hundred bucks or so at the most. I can see this, yeah, I can see this like a year from now going to be like a hundred bucks for a, a, a basic Vita model. You know, and I, just even like 
three, four, five years from now, the Vita has gonna, it's gonna be like 50, 30 bucks, you know, on Craigslist. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be overly expensive because the value of the system is good. It's just gonna keep decreasing. And here's the answer to the question of the day.